Greetings, everyone. Hmm. Yes, I might uh, might leave those there for now, more or less. Citizen Kane, Blade Runner, and Aliens. Frickin' cool. Well, today, well, actually yesterday, I received a package in the mail. I've been up all night editing. I've actually been working on the Multimedia Chronicles retro DVDs, which are coming out very shortly. Um, yeah, but more about those another time. But I received a package. I'm, my brain is mush. It's fried. I'm, I'm just, I don't even know why I'm doing a video right now. So enjoy the drunkenness brought about by tiredness. <laughs> anyway, after all the crazy editing and organizing and rearranging and swapping files around and stuff, I needed something just to restore my sanity. And what better than a good old-fashioned package opening? And what better, better, than a good old-fashioned package opening from Stockholm, Sweden? I have to cover all the sides because it's got addresses on it, all over it. Um, from the user formerly known as BookhouseBoy77. He now, of course, goes by the Lonesome Foghorn. Um, Eric. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I should mention, speaking of the Lonesome Foghorn, it's not just his new YouTube channel that goes by that name. He's also doing a music project. Pretty cool stuff. Sort of gothic industrial synthesizer uh, stuff. And uh, there's a Facebook page for it if you want to be kept up to date on that and check out you know, tracks that he's working on and things like that. Really cool stuff. Uh, check it out. I'll put the link in the description. So, now... Let's see what we got from the Lonesome Foghorn today on the Multimedia Chronicles. And I'll, I'll move you up a bit too. I just like to sort of start big and then get all intimate and interactive. Welcome back. Wow, it's like I'm just towering over you. Um, let me move you up a little bit. I'll, yeah, I'll cut. There we go. That's that's a little better. Anyway, well, I like to be kind of off to the side and then have the the music stand here. All right. Okay. Good. <clears throat> so. Because it is a bubble envelope and not a box, we will use the manly pink scissors. I am told uh, by Bookhouse Boy that there is a. Let's put this over top so you can see the address. That there is a note inside that uh, I am requested to read on camera. Oh, you didn't see anything. <laughs> so I'm going to open this very carefully. It's very mummified. Now. I may know what one of these items is, I'm not sure. Eric sometimes likes to be very obvious, other times he likes to be very mysterious. Or sometimes he likes you to think he's being obvious, but is actually being mysterious. Oh! I see he's being sneaky. Here, we have something that's wrapped. There's something else too. So we'll look at this one first because it was on top. Okay, I think this might be the one that uh, he was asking me about if I had. Uh, this is actually a birthday present. This is this is very cool. Uh, hey Sean, happy 40th birthday and congrats on your new home. It was a good move, moving closer to Rosie. Yes, I agree. See what I did there with the, with the word move? Double meaning. Get it? LOL. Anyway, as I mentioned in our hot, steamy mails, here is the Alien Anthology Blu-ray. Did I just hiccup? I totally just hiccuped, didn't I? The Alien Anthology Blu-ray. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh... In uh, in Canada and the I guess the U.S. here we actually got it on. Uh, I heard something rattling around in there. Ah, there's pieces falling out all over the place. 
Uh, we actually got it in sort of a, like a digipack slipcover thing. That's unusual. Whereas here I see it's just a uh, a really big Blu-ray case. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, you know this is one I've been wanting for quite some time. Um, I, of course, used to have the um, the uh, DVD version, the Alien Quadrilogy set, which I did a video about a while back. And uh, there you go. So these are all Blu-rays. There's no actual DVDs in here. So six discs, all Blu-rays. That is fantastic. Uh, this is great. Thank you so much, Eric. This is this is something that I've been wanting to get back in the collection. It's kind of funny. Two videos in a row, like two uh, package openings in a row, I get something alien related. <laughs> awesome. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, our hot steamy mails. Mm, I remember those mails. They were delicious. <laughs> Here's the Alien Anthology Blu-ray. It's the standard Swedish release and it's region free. I opened it to see that all the discs were okay before sending it to you. I have the limited edition of this Blu-ray. Of course you do. With the embossed face hugger on the cover. Oh yeah, I've seen pictures of that one. But, uh, but I actually prefer this standard release. The cover is nicer. This Blu-ray is a must own. Yeah, I've been wanting to get it. You know, I actually almost bought it around Boxing Day. It was on for about half price. Um, but instead I got some other stuff, which I don't think I've even updated yet. Wow, I really got to get back onto those updates and get up to date. Quiet Tummy, you had enough food today. <laughs> uh, the second thing is a surprise. Open it now. All the best. Er Eric, a.k.a. The Lonesome Foghorn, a.k.a. Bookhouse Boy 77 man of many names and much manly mystery okay excellent so the second one is a surprise so yeah so this one i was pretty sure he was sending because he asked me about it like six times like do you have the alien anthology did i ask you about the alien anthology i think i'm gonna get you the alien anthology would you like the alien anthology yeah he wasn't very subtle about it at all <laughs> so thank you very much eric for the alien anthology i am totally gonna marathon at least the first two because the first two were fantastic. Okay, so the next one is a surprise. Let's see what we got here. Number two, open last, read letter first. There we go. Read the letter first. Okay. And it's uh, sealed with surgical tape. Let's see what we got here. I have no idea what this one is. Um, he, he, I think he asked me about a few things, but I, I can't, I honestly can't remember what the other ones he asked me about were. That's just Eric being mysterious, as usual. Um, let's see here. Alright, let's open this up. I'm actually going to prolong the agony here. I'm going to open each individual piece of tape. <laughs> just... Just to drive you all crazy. And pad out the length of this package opening a little bit. Don't you touch the skip ahead button. You can sit here with the rest of us and watch it all. Alright. You know, being ADD just ruins the fun. I mean, sometimes it's all about, you know, not the end result, not the not the destination it's the journey you know it's not about the the payoff it's about the anticipation okay I think we're almost there all right here we go you guys ready I have no idea what this is gonna be oh sweet <laughs> It's another Arrow video horror release, this time an Argento one. I actually just, uh, this Phenomena starring uh, Jennifer Connelly, she actually did this um, the same year that she did Labyrinth. As a matter of fact, I did a video about Phenomena a couple of uh, Halloweens ago. I think, do I still have the DVD edition? I do not. I guess it's one of the ones I sold. Well, thank you very much. I will definitely enjoy the Blu-ray. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, let's uh, let's quickly crack this open here, and we'll we'll take a look. Um, 
I don't think I need to tell you guys what's on the Alien Anthology set, do I? Do I? No, I don't need to tell you. You guys all know what's on that set. Shit tons of awesome. That's what's on that set. Okay, here we go. So this is about a girl who has psychic powers who can basically talk to insects and control them. And uh, as with most Argento films, it's 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 kind of a, a yellow film with uh, uh, supernatural elements. So... Uh, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, some people love this, some people don't. I thought it was great, personally, and I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I think it's one of one of Argento's better ones. Ah, there we go. Okay. So, he's got the nice slip case. Uh, we'll take a quick look here. As with most Arrow releases, it looks like we have reversible covers. Uh, yes, this amazing edition contains four panel reversible sleeve featuring original and newly commissioned artwork, two sided fold out poster with new artwork, exclusive collector's booklet featuring brand new writing on phenomena by Alan Jones, author of Profundo Argento. Little uh, reference there to Profundo Rosso, which is also known as Deep Red. Uh, special features introduction by special effects artist Sergio St Stivaletti. Dario, Dario's Monkey Business, The Making of Phenomena, a 50-minute long documentary featuring interviews with key talent behind the film, including director Dario Argento, star Daria Nicolodi, underwater photographer Gian Lorenzo Battaglia, and more. Music for Maggots, an interview with composer Claudio Simonetti. Claudio Simonetti, of course, being the front man from Goblin. Uh, Creepers for Creatures, Sergio Stivaletti live, Q&A sessions from Dublin and Glasgow. And it looks like all the extras are 1080p as well. Very, very cool. Why does it say it's PAL? It's high def. That's just bizarre. Um, anyway, so yeah, so this was the... Let's get the glasses going. So this is, I'm guessing this is one of the new art, artwork uh, covers, because I haven't seen that. This this is one of the original movie posters. This was actually the one that was on the, uh, I was going to say the VHS, the DVD edition that I had. And then, uh, here we go. Yeah, and then if, if we just actually pop the disc out, there you can see two of the other covers, including one that has the alternate title of Creepers, I noticed, which was the U.S. title for a very long time. And uh, the Creepers cut that was most prevalent out here in North America was actually heavily cut down and uh, censored. It was missing a lot of material. It wasn't until the Anchor Bay DVD release many years later, the one that I used to have, that um, it was actually available uncut for the first time over here. Now, of course, all the releases are uncut, but uh, I think there's some public domain prints kicking around, and that could be why. Some of Fulci's stuff as public domain prints as well, like House by the Cemetery, you've seen a lot of horror collections and things like that. But, uh, some more pretty pictures. And in true Arrow fashion, this is, this is like a fully, properly deluxe edition. There's, uh, there's a lot of good stuff. I mean, you know, if you've been watching my, uh, videos for a while, you know that I've been a, uh, an Argento fan for quite some time. Uh, Okay, and let's take a look at the poster. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Hold on a second. There. Okay, so we got the the new poster there. That's quite nice. And then on the back, we got creepers. There you go. Actually, I'm going to have to watch this again. It's been a while since I watched it. Probably not since I did that review, actually. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to watch this one again. Because I only remember bits and pieces of it. But uh, I remember really liking it. Awesome. Well, thank you very, very much, Eric. This is this is just fantastic. Um, you know, I, I definitely welcome more of these arrow editions. <laughs> I know in some cases the the, uh, the transfer quality is kind of hit and miss on them. You just kind of gotta watch for that, I guess. But I mean, even even still, a lot of the time it's worth it for the extras. Because I mean, it, they're kind of like the criterion of horror. I mean, they get uh, tons of exclusive extras and make a lot of exclusive extras and such for their releases and the deluxe packaging and everything. I mean, they're just beautiful collector's pieces 
and uh, I definitely welcome getting more of them in my collection. So thank you very much. Uh, for those of you who may not have seen uh, one of Eric's previous packages, he actually sent me the Arrow edition of, <clears throat> let's see if I can grab it for you. Yeah, here we are. The Arrow edition of Day of the Dead. And this was actually the first time I'd ever seen Day of the Dead. So there we go. Two arrows for the collection. Very nice indeed. Alrighty, well, we'll just throw this one up here too because it's cool. Alrighty, wow. Well, that was awesome. Uh, that definitely makes my birthday a happy one. <laughs> Some incredibly scary shit to watch. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I've actually really been wanting to sit down and watch the Alien movies again, of course, because Prometheus is coming out, and, um, you know, I kind of wanted to, to revisit the originals and get a nice, solid primer. Uh, I'd like to watch the extras again, too. Like, the, the extras on this are quite extensive. As I was mentioning in the, um, um, <clears throat> what was it, the, 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 pa the, the package opening from Cynical 44 when he sent the Alien or the Aliens uh, box set edition, um, all the extras from that old Laserdisc set are on the Alien Anthology, which is pretty cool. So it's going to be uh, nice to be able to check out all that stuff again. Alrighty, well, I guess that's it. Uh, just double check, make sure we got everything. Yep, we are empty. Excellent. Well, thank you very, very much, Eric. Uh, I'm going to have a blast with all that stuff. And very welcome additions to the collection. <laughs> Alrighty, well, well, folks, that is it from me to you for now. I think I'm going to uh, get ready for bed because I'm freaking tired. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll see you next time. Alrighty, so until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara.